said, I don't think you can develop a relationship like you can be given a gift. Given gifts, gift of tongues, the gift of prophecy, the gift of you know, distinguishing of spirits, those gifts are the Holy Spirit empowering our spirit to be able to do those things. They are his gifts for at his time. Some people seem to function in them more often. Uh, and there are people who do are, you'd say, prophetic or visionaries who do seem to be able to see things more easily. Um, but that still may be that that's still gifted to them because of the Holy Spirit giving them something that they need for a particular purpose. Now, that's very different from developing our spiritual abilities ourselves. So for me, I go with Hebrews where it says we train our senses through practice to discern. So we need to learn how to see and engage and experience by practicing training our senses to tune into the way God speaks to us. That isn't a gift. That is God is continually speaking. We just need to tune into the right wavelength to be able to receive it. Now, some people see, some people feel, some people sense, some people have intuition. There are different ways God communicates with us. And the one of uh, the word see can also uh, mean perceive. And ultimately, it's perception, which is the key. Am I getting what God is trying to communicate to me? And do I perceive that reality as he's communicating it to me? That takes relationship with him to know how he speaks, to know his heart, to know that it is him who's speaking because it carries the frequency of love. It carries the frequency of Father, Son and Spirit who are speaking to us. That takes time to develop that. You just don't know the truth. Um, just by give, being given a gift, you know the truth by hanging out with the truth and finding what's genuine. So we need to know the genuineness of God, his faithfulness, the fact that he is kind and good and faithful, um, all, those, all those wonderful attributes that he has, that he loves us unconditionally. All those things will bring us to a place where we can rest. And when we're at rest, it's so much easier to be able to perceive because we're not striving. Be still and know that I'm God. That means stop trying to do it in your own strength and let me open myself to you so you can receive from me that which you need. But in that process, which is the relational process, we get to know him. He begins to reveal more and more about us. We know our identity and then in our identity, we then begin to realize that our spirit has the capacity to do everything the Holy Spirit can do in the gifts. So therefore, we can learn to, dis to discern and see and perceive and distinguish. And we have, can have visions and we can have dreams and we can all those type of things. But I don't believe that it's just going to happen like a gift. Now, I do believe that forerunners open a door for the possibilities and it does make it easier because people don't have to learn how to do it because other people are opening the door for how to do it. But people need to know how to do it for them. We can't copy what I do or what Ian does or Nancy or Justin. They're them. I'm me. But you're you and everyone is them. And we need to discover the way God communicates with us, the way he's made us to communicate and, and become restful in that in in a place of peace and joy and love and we'll find that it does become easier the possibilities are open by others we still have to embrace the possibilities and learn to outwork those possibilities in our own lives which i do believe is by practice by practice and that does that mean we have to definitely not warring for years because i i'm not at war you know i need to be at rest if you're trying to war over something and fight for something, you're not at rest and it's harder to receive anything when you're fighting. Come to a place of rest. That's why meditation is done so much easier when we're relaxed, when we're mindful, when we're restful, when we're breathing easily. So much easier then because we're not striving or struggling, warring, fighting for something, which is already ours. It's who we are. We just need to know our identity, have our mind renewed to the truth, which will show us the reality of what's possible. And then we can just go on further and further 
in that in that relationship and uncover all sorts of amazing abilities like non-linear thinking and living in multi-dimensional realms all of that comes from knowing who we are knowing who we are comes from intimacy intimacy comes with spending time with god with no agenda and that is the key i think don't come to god with an agenda that you want to see you want to hear you want to do all these things just come to be with him and let him open up that door and if there are things which are covenantal issues from the past which may have an effect in your life then the father will show you i just ask him is there anything blocking me or hindering me from being able to perceive what you're saying and see what he says you know and then deal with that as you say are there lies i'm believing that may hinder me from believing that i can uh, see and hear and feel and sense your presence and know you then let him show you that and only do the things that he shows you don't try and uh, go into it systematically and try to find out all of the issues in your life you'll find you become very introspective and you'll find you'll lose all your joy remain in joy and peace and love remain in that place of rest and then from that place of rest just enjoy being with him and let him take you on the journey that will get you um, not to a destination but will reveal who you are because your destiny is not a scroll with have lots of things on it to do your destiny is a revelation of who you are. Your destiny is you outworking who you are in relationship with God. And that is the key to finding that. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.